The donation came from the Chinese government, the Yutong Transport Company, and the Chinese Red Cross. It included surgical gloves, face masks, protection glasses, and gowns, and diagnostic kits, along with a $100,000 check. Two previous shipments also included similar items. During a ceremony to announce the donation, the Chinese ambassador to Cuba noted the progress in the fight against COVID-19 and the island's international contribution to dozens of countries. We admire the solidarity of the Cuban Revolution in deploying over 2,300 medical specialists to 24 countries. Cuba and China have maintained collaboration and trade relations for years in areas like energy, transportation and biotechnology. The two countries operate joint ventures in China producing Cuban pharmaceuticals to fight different diseases. One of those drugs, known as interferon alpha-2b, developed by Cuba, has been used as treatment for COVID-19 in the Asian nation. Cuban officials dismiss U.S. claims that China initially mishandled the pandemic. This kind of groundless accusations do not help international cooperation but raise additional barriers to it, and particularly affect the necessary unity and solidarity among the countries to succeed in fighting this pandemic. Ambassador Cheng Zi stressed China's solidarity with the Caribbean island nation. We will continue to back the efforts of the Cuban people in their fight against COVID-19 and are willing to jointly advance exchange and cooperation in different sectors. This year, China and Cuba marked the 60th anniversary of the establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations. The fight to tackle COVID-19 is a priority for both nations and for their mutual support. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.